Yep. <clears throat> Back out. It's been, a, it's been a while since we've been camping, probably. I think it was uh, in Omnit Town, wasn't it? And we had the Bothy. And I had that weekend in the lakes where we just walked for miles. Strangely enough, we were up there on that lakes weekend. Anyway, I was just going to point this out. See, I'm at the car park down there. Right, that's my car, the blue one in the middle. And there's a blue one anyway. See the way people are parked like that? I couldn't get in before. That's wrong. If you park like that, that's wrong. You can get cars in there. Nose to the wall. See like this one? Like that. If everybody parked like that, you could get another 10 cars in there. How selfish. Just because you can't be bothered to like manoeuvre your car up against the wall. You're taking up about three spaces. So you can get three, six, you can get about another 12 cars in there. People have got no idea, like, are they? Clueless. Oh, just park here, because it's easier. Even though I'm taking up three spaces. Anyway, rant all over. Oh yeah. See horse water there. It's full again. In the, in the summer, the water was right, right back here. It's full up. Didn't take long to fill. It's a nice still afternoon. It's uh, temperatures about four or five degrees. It's not frosty yet. It's not really cold. I might have to take a layer off. I think I've got one layer on too many. But I'm planning on going up there. That's the only hill I haven't camped on around here. Camped on all the others. Up there. Over there, over there. So I'm gonna try and get up there. See, the problem is, my knee's killing us, like, I've took a paracetamol mixture. I've got a really sore knee at the minute. And I think that's, uh, yeah, it might start hurting when it gets steep here. I remember this path is a really steep path. We'll see. So I might come drop down. Uh, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Feel alright at the minute. That's my objective. Whether or not I make it, it's a different matter. If your knee hurts, don't push on through it. Because you just make it worse. Get it sorted. Right. Starting to pull now, so. Let's crack on, see how far I get. Open it up. Falls. Oh, it's a steep path. Really steep. So this is the Gates Garth Pass. Oh, that road steep coming up there. Up there's Branch Tree. And Carrie camped on that. Windy old time though. But I'm going up here. Up this road here. And across on the top of there, and on to that. Harder fell. That looks steep. I don't think it's as steep as what I've just done though, so that's alright. Only walked a mile, I'm fucking shattered. It's icy underfoot. I hope it's alright up there. I haven't brought any spikes, I didn't expect it to be like this. Temperature's quite mild. Obviously, not overnight. Right. So, hope it doesn't take long. I've got about an hour and a half daylight, so plenty of time. No panic. I'm not fit enough to rush up. I've got a lengthy layoff. Passed by a fell runner. I hate it when that happens. But he said he couldn't cope with the size of my pack, so that makes it alright. I was just. Uh, just got to the top of Gatesgarth Pass and then headed up to Heart of Fell. But on the way up, there's an amazing little vista opens up. Look at that. That's Hawes Water for you. 
This is the rig. That's speaking crag where I started off my wild camping campaign. I think it's a bit too popular now. I don't know, I've never been for a while. All well, them rolling hills. Still got a little way to go. Well, not very far, but 50 meters left to climbing. I can see the top really from, well, I've dropped down a bit now, but I can see it from up there. So we'll push on here. We'll be at the top shortly. It's only half three. It gives us about an hour's sunlight or daylight. Oh, there's no nice sun. There'll be no time lapses in this video. I think we've got just up the top of there to go. Look at this. So high street with blee, blee on or blee water. Come there. Small oh, water's down there somewhere. Get a good view here. You hear the, hear the um, waterfalls. Right, go through the valley. Far too fit. <laughs> Look at that. Misty valleys. <laughs> so, nearly there apparently. Right. Just look fine a bit. I hope the ground's alright. This looks a bit rocky. Yeah, I'll find somewhere. Oh, I see these mountains over here. Over there is a great big massive trig point. Like a huge big that's Threshthwaite Mouth. That's where we walked when we went on the, the December trip. We ended up right over there. This is the top of Heart of Fell. 778 meters. Boosh. It's freezing. <laughs> Temperature's gone right down. So I've got my gloves on. And I'm gonna get my tent up. Uh, nice flat bits here, like. There's a few flat bits. I think I'll just get somewhere like here. It's got a little bit of sponginess to it. Because it went too hard. Not very good views though, are they? The views were better over there. I thought you could see the top of the, um, the what do you call it, the reservoir from here? No, no you can't just make it out over there. A bit pitchier then, couldn't I? So I've got that to look at. Oh, it's not bad though. It wasn't really too bad, there's a few little steep bits. But it only took us about an hour and a bit to get up here. I'm starting to get cold now, so I'm going to... Get me tent up before the night guy comes. Nice little spot overlooking the reservoir. Just watching the sun trying to break through. It's casting some nice colours. I don't know if, it, I don't know if this camera is making them out. Some nice colours coming over on them hills there. Somebody coming up here, can't believe it. Two fucking kids. What are they doing up here this time of night? They've got knee gear. Anyway. Come on, just set this up, get ready. Get the kettle on. So that's small water. You've got blee water above it. Small water looks bigger than blee water at the minute. It's not though. <laughs> This is the Nan Beeld Pass. Here's where the mountain bikers come up. They come up the side of here and then they ride off there for some reason. Apparently it's a thrill ride. Don't get it myself. Like I might go back down that way tomorrow. Depends on the ice. So if it's icy, it's not a good way to go. But if it's not, uh, Nan, Nan Beeld Pass is there. 
It's getting better and because you go down, you go down there, the other side of that, to go down to small water. And then down Hall's Water, which is there. Just come for a little walk, I've got to set up. I'm right over there. And my two kids just come up, went to the top, and then turned around and went back. <laughs> Something to do. Where am I? Oh, yeah. There I am. A lonely tent. Just off the summit. That's the summit. 778 metres. First camp of the new year. 2019. See what this year brings. Oh, I feel a chill in the air now. I've got my down jacket on. Yeah. Not a bad spot. Always wanted to come up here. I've always wondered what's been up here. Pretty featureless like, but at least I've done it. Oh, I think I'll have a cup of tea, folks. Coffee, anyway. Or Bovril, yes. I've got Bovril. Who's who's on Bovril side? And who likes Marmite? You're either one or the other, aren't you? I'm a Bovril person. I can eat Bovril cubes <laughs> without putting water on them, which is weird. Marmite, though, blah, doesn't do it for us. Oh, God, it's freezing. It's going to be cold tonight. Got me down bricks, so I should be alright. Right. Uh, look at the cell up there. It's nice and cosy in here. It's bollocks when you come out. What's this thing reading? 0.7. That's skinny Rob. <laughs> He's wanting to know what I'm doing. Alright. So if you're out in the winter, get a double-sided one, a foil mat, the, the silver on both sides is better than the one-sided ones. Get them on eBay, dead cheap. I've got a double one, it's, nah, it's kind of a double one, so I can fold it over if I need to. Um, X-bed down mat, again, nice and warm. 900 sleeping bag. I've had this sleeping bag for a long time now. Needs a wash, but still does the job. Like I washed me down coat. I like carry did. And it's come up great. It's like brand new. And I'm just nice and warm now. Um, down trousers. I'll be putting them on shortly because I can feel the chill already. Down boots. Hot socks. They work. Now I've got this for the food. Adventure food. So basically, just boil your water, pour in up to the mark, and then you leave it for eight minutes. Eight minutes, but you've got to stir it really well, otherwise, you get dry bits in it. There's some beer, a couple of beers, and a little hip flask. It's got uh, cardio, something or other in it. Right now. I think I'm going to have that now. Check my stove up. Extreme gas. We're working um, minus 27. Hope it doesn't get that cold. But if it does, at least the gas will work. Light's fading now. It's a lovely. Um, it's funny, it was like a pink glow to the sky. It was weird. And then obviously the sun going down over there. But it's thick cloud, so I think that'll keep a bit of the chill off. But I'm not gonna see any stars are now spectacular, so really this is just a oh it's got a shiver. This is just a wild camp for the sake of it really. Not much to see. Oh I'm gonna get back in. Freezing. Zero degrees now. It's only uh, about ten past five. Pitch black. Strange. There was five people came up before, just walking up the, up from the Nanbield Pass. Headlights on, head torches, and they just, they just went that way. Very strange. I don't know what they were doing. Night hike, night hiking, navigation. Maybe mountain rescue. Just out for a training ride. 
run, walk, hike, I don't know, I'm not talking about. Anyway, it's beer o'clock. I'm gonna have a love and eat. Got the radio on, at least I've got radio signal and phone signal so I can keep in touch with the weather. Um, checking in, Twitter, oh that's sort of rubbish. Lights, lights over there. It'd be Penrith over in the distance, eh? You can't see it on this. But yeah, I'm just gonna um, get a beer on, listen to a bit of radio, and then have my tea about six, seven o'clock, maybe. I love that, so we'll come back when I'm cooking that. Where's that can? Gives it, gives it. Um, I've just boiled the water. Didn't take long. And what you do is you fill it to mark on there and you can see the number nine it is it says so I've put the water in number nine there's like a little pad you've got to take out if you don't read the small print you won't know about the pad um and that's it really so I'll put that in there and then you just zip it up zip it up and leave it for eight minutes so I'll set me I'll set my timer about eight minutes. And I'll come back. Hopefully that'll be nice. Eight minutes. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, bored already. It's later. Moment of truth. Just some Stevie Wonder on. Ugh. Give it a little, a little mix, little mix. Yeah, listen to that. Sounds like. Bleh. Anyway, that's it. There, look. So, what do we think? Nice. It's a bit, it's a bit watery. I think it might be too much water in it. Did go up to number nine. That's what I did. But it's a bit watery. But it's nice, tasty. And it'll keep us warm. Not worth four pound fifty though. There's better food out. There's better ones out there. That's all I had though. In uh, go outdoors. That's all I had. My hands were tried. Well, we'll come back. Morning campers. Heidi, hi. Note, as you can see, there's no sunrise. Oh, thick, foggy, cloudy, manky. Well, I amused myself last night with a few beers and then the radio on. You know, I went to bed early. Well, really quite early. <laughs> Ten o'clock. Is that all right? It's comfortable enough. I'm just going to clear up and clear off. That's me, that's focused on. Uh, I hate clearing up. Pack it all away. It's nice and cozy in there. Oh, it's red hot in there. When you get out, no, I feel cold. Right. So then I'm walking out, get sorted. It's the old camping pitch. Speaking crag. I'm a long way away from there. It's so quiet. It's deadly still. 
no wind. Shim just can't pile off down there because there's the path just there I need to be on. All the way around this cliff over there. So if you come this way, don't go there because there's big drop off cliffs. I can't believe how steep it was. <clears throat> right. Well, I think that's a bit boring when you see the same old footage, so this is the end. I'll be, uh, um, I'm out with Mark Thompson next week, but we're not going camping. The week after that, I'm not 100% sure. Might be out with, I don't know, something on the week after, I can't remember. I'm getting old. Anyway, I'll be out again. Catch you then.